Hello everyone. So today let us create uh, one automation to create a page in Confluence and uh, it is something that I don't really think I ever showed on my channel but uh, I think this particular rule or this uh, action to create a page was I think recently added and it is not very difficult. So let us do it. So let us say there is a pay, there, there is an issue and uh, maybe on some transition you want to maybe create uh, <clears throat> maybe a page in uh, in confluence and uh, this may be helpful because it will help you build some uh, i mean the, the, the whole point of automation is to automate to reduce manual effort and you can do it now from jira so let us do it and uh, before i Okay, let, let, let us start, start by creating a new rule and I'll talk about one thing very important. So you can of course give this rule a name or oh, before, oh, let, us, let us start with the name. So the name is create page and I want this to happen on uh, one project which is Android 2.0 and new trigger, new trigger is let us say I want transition. So whenever the issue is resolved, um, it will be triggered. So the action is that I want to create a page in Confluence and when, it, when I create a page, I need to connect it with my Confluence site. So I am going to select the same site, which is right now Jira Tutorial. And then I need to give this page a name. Now this page name can be uh, anything, but it always makes sense if you use something like this trigger issue because uh, you want to have some issue key somewhere and you can select the space like maybe change management and then you can specify the parent and uh, maybe you can also select a template now this template is something that you have to define in your uh, confluence space so let us say this is one of your template meeting minutes and uh, maybe you want this particular uh, template to have some template um, please enter details and maybe you want to have uh, what do you what shall we do maybe 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 a table no and date summary who or responsibility and along with that uh, you also want to have maybe maybe <clears throat> uh come on i'm i'm short of ideas because I don't really use conference <laughs> anyway so maybe you also want to have um, a summary and you will you may also want to have like some header maybe some bullet points bullet bullet whatever okay a simple template but uh, let us now create a page using this template so this is the template that we have and uh, it looks all right. Not, no, I'm not really saying that it is one of the best, but it's not bad. All right, so let us select this template, which I already have and uh, click on the save button. And uh, the thing is that when you are creating a template, a, a page, so you can actually use uh, this smart value, which is basically going to uh, give you access to that particular page and maybe I can try to understand how to like what all things we can do with this so i can see here that created page and then uh, uh, we also have uh, created page dot title dot url all right not bad and we also have created pages so when you have more than one page it can actually give you this ability to fetch so let us use uh, both because why not all right, so let me uh, add a new comment and uh, let us see what happens. So when you add a new comment, you can uh, you can actually use this uh, template or not, not template, sorry, smart value. And maybe I also want to use the URL because why not? And uh, this will actually give us the recent, recently created page or maybe maybe uh, you want to create more than one pages so let us 
use one more component here and add one more page because why not we let us add two so this is again going to be come on trigger issue page two change management page three page three yeah change management meeting minutes and for this one i will say page one oh i think i did some mistake in the trigger or in the in not not in the trigger in the smart value it has to be something like this all right so we, have, we are creating two pages and the first uh smart value should fetch the first page or the, or the last page but do we need to iterate over these created pages because it, it is going to be uh like a list but there is there is a way to iterate and uh, i don't really want to uh i don't really, really want to use that iteration because i don't like it you have to use hash forward slash dot something it's not really easy to use but i'll just try to paste it like this dot title dot url because i'm hoping that this will basically give us two entries all pages all right let us see let us see what, what we get now so let us let us save it turn it on and uh, i'll go back to the issue and i'll make a transition let us see what happens i'm sure it will do something let, let us refresh the page do we have a comment yes we do have a comment let us come back to the comment in a minute but let me just take a look at the uh, rule first so it says that it has created page one and page two wonderful lovely i like this and if you look at page one and page two so this page one is looking good page two is also looking good i, li I like this not bad good and uh, the, the next thing is uh, we want to i forgot what i was trying to do okay so i wanted to know uh, okay, so the recent created page, it is going to give me the, um, the issue key along with page two and the URL. Great. For the all pages, it is going to give me page one. I, and basically, it is printing the whole issue because I use the issue key uh, in the, in the uh, conference page. And it is then going to give me page two. So it has done the iteration for us. And basically, the whole URL looks good. I'm happy. It works and uh, yeah this this is good and of course you can use this information to maybe update a field somewhere especially if you are you using jira service management this looks good all right that is it simple simple video but definitely useful and to be honest uh, i can see a lot of wonderful use cases maybe you want to create to release pages or uh, some post mortem or whatever you want to do from Jira to Confluence because you, now you can create a page without making a REST call. It is still making a REST call, but you don't have to do it yourself. All right. Thank you very much. I hope you found this video useful and you learned something new. Bye-bye.